Hi there. I'm Adam Golka, and this is Highline 9. And I'm really pleased to be playing on this beautiful white piano for you today uh, as part of the Chelsea Music Festival. The program is really stemming from my latest musical passions, and I feel uh, really empowered by the Chelsea Music Festival to uh, be welcome playing that which I'm dying to play for you. Uh, so there are three works on today's program. Uh, a jazzy etude by Nikolai Kapustin, uh, an etude called Relevant Etude by yours truly, and also the Sonata Number no. 2 by Grażyna Batsevich, great uh, Polish composer. The three pieces on today's program are things that I've specifically become interested in in the last few months. Uh, obviously, there's been more time at home, more time to dabble and explore my passions and interests. Uh, and one of those is sort of a revisiting, which is the work of Nikolai Kapustin. And uh, Nikolai Kapustin was a great pianist trained both in a Russian classical tradition, but also in jazz tradition. He was one of the great sort of early Soviet era uh, jazz pianists. And he incorporated a vast amount of jazz styles into classical forms. And I used to be obsessed with his music when I was a teenager, and I played it all the time. And then I grew up, and I sort of decided that I was a serious guy now, and I, I should not play things like that. Uh, and then, I think in the last few months, you know, this uh, time alone, I realized that I don't want to be such a serious guy. And I, I think this music is amazing, and I want to play it. So uh, I've sort of uh, re-entered that repertoire. And Nikolai Kapustin uh, wrote these etudes for piano that are jazz etudes. And um, this is the seventh etude. It's called Intermezzo. And I think you hear a lot of different jazz influences. Uh, and you can hear the double bass pizzicato on the left hand and sort of uh, kind of stride piano uh, style. So um, yeah, it's really fun to play.
I was hanging out with my pod, two of my best friends, and we were talking about where music is today. And we, for three, four hours in a row, just listened to every kind of music imaginable. I mean, everything from like, uh, Brad Meldow to George Benjamin to uh, uh, Punch Brothers to Michael Jackson to uh, Billie Eilish to uh, Ligeti, everything, you know? And we were just kind of philosophizing about what the common thread is in all music that's being written today, any style, whatever. I mean, I only named a, a tiny fraction of it. And the, the big argument was sort of about relevance of music. What is the relevance of music in different styles uh, to our world? And about one o'clock in the morning, I heard this sound in my mind, just, just like this scale, this, this, this buzzing. And I went to my uh, Yamaha keyboard and I started dabbling. And then suddenly this piece came to me and I wrote sketches until about four o'clock in the morning. And then for the next three days, uh, I spent all day just writing it out, and then I wrote a piece called Relevant Etude. And so, this is it. Grażyna Batsewicz is really a fantastic figure in Poland. 
uh, who was coming, I think, little by little into the mainstream sort of international repertoire. But since I'm ethnically Polish, uh, I've always been aware of her music, and I played the sonata as a teenager. And it's another one of those pieces that I wanted to play and I wanted to come back to, but never did since my teenage years for reasons I don't really know. I just didn't. I didn't have a chance. Life's busy. And then, all of a sudden, I was at home with a lot of time to spare. So I started playing it again. And Grażyna Batsevich was an incredible uh, genius, uh, a virtuoso violinist and pianist. Uh, mainly a violinist, but she could play this piece, so that says something. Uh, it's a you know, colossal piece. And um, she wrote for film and television in Poland and was uh, influenced by, I would say, Prokofiev, Shostakovich, certainly uh, uh, Szymanowski. But she also very much developed her own harmonic language that doesn't sound like anything or anybody else that I can, I can think of, uh, with some maybe jazz influence in Polish folklore. Um, yeah, it's a very unique thing, her sonata number two. So uh, really glad to share that.
Thank you.